Quatro, quatro. Quatro. Quatro, quatro. Quatro. James Franklin Basket, February 16, 1904, July 9, 1948, was an American actor. Basket studied pharmacology as a young man but gave it up to pursue an acting career. He first moved to New York City, New York, where he joined up with Bill Mr. Bojangles Robinson. Using the name Jimmy Basket, he appeared in several all-black New York films, including Harlem is Heaven, 1932. American pre-cold crime drama and musical film Money Played by Basket is a local theater owner widely known in Harlem. He is also a racketeer who specializes in policy games or gambling, as well as circulating phony investment schemes around New York as well as in Philadelphia and other cities. He later moved to Los Angeles, California, and had a supporting role in the film Straight to Heaven, 1939, starring Nina Mae McKinney. He also had bit parts in several B-movies, including that of Lazarus in Revenge of the Zombies, 1943, a horror film directed by Steve Squee, starring John Carradine and Gail Storm. Dr. Max Heinrich von Altermann, John Carradine, is a mad scientist working to create a race of living dead warriors for the Third Reich. From 1944 until 1948, he was part of the cast of the Amos and Andy Show live radio program as lawyer Gabby Gibson. In 1945, he auditioned for a bit part voice in one of the animals in the new Disney feature film Song of the South, 1946, based on the Uncle Remus stories by Joel Chandler Harris. Disney was impressed with Basket's talent and hired him on the spot for the lead role of Uncle Remus. Basket was also given the voice role of Br'er Fox, one of the film's animated antagonists, and also filled in as the main animated protagonist. Br'er Rabbit, in one sequence. This was one of the first Hollywood portrayals of a black actor as a non-comic character in a leading role in a film meant for general audiences. Basket was prohibited from attending the film's premiere in Atlanta, Georgia, because Atlanta was racially segregated by law. Although Basket was occasionally criticized for accepting such a demeaning role, most of his acting credits were that of African-American stereotypes, his acting was almost universally praised. On March 20, 1948, Basket received an Academy Honorary Award for his performance as Uncle Remus. He was the first African-American male actor to earn an Academy Award. Additionally, Basket was the last adult actor to receive an honorary Oscar for a single performance. Basket had been in poor health during the filming of Song of the South due to diabetes and he suffered a heart attack in December 1946 shortly after its release. His health continued to decline, and he was often unable to attend the Amos and Andy radio show he was on, missing almost half of the 1947-1948 season. On July 9, 1948, during the show's summer hiatus, James Basket died at his home of heart failure resulting from diabetes at age 50. He was survived by his wife Margaret and his mother Elizabeth. He is buried at Crown Hill Cemetery in Indianapolis.